Huawei P20 Pro and P20 Lite launched in India. Apple Watch Series 3 cellular version coming to India. Facebook makes its community guidelines public. Today is Tuesday, April the 24th and this is 360 Daily. Before we go ahead with the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to hit the bell icon so you know when we have a new video. Within a month of their global unveiling, Huawei has launched the P20 Pro and P20 Lite in India. Both the smartphones sport full view displays, come with AI powered camera features with the optics co-engineered with Leica and run Android Oreo out of the box. Additionally, the P20 Pro has a triple camera setup at the back while the P20 Lite sports dual rear cameras. The P20 Pro and the P20 Lite have have been priced at 64,999 rupees and 19,999 rupees respectively and will go on sale in the country exclusively via Amazon from May 3rd. Geo and Airtel have announced partnership with Apple to launch the Apple Watch Series 3 cellular version in India. The new model is now listed on Apple India website without the price. It will be going up for pre-orders from May 4th and will be available for sale starting May 11th. Furthermore, Geo customers won't need to pay anything extra for a watch's cellular plan. However, unlike Geo, the cellular variant will work only with Airtel postpaid users on Infinity plans. More details on Gadgets360.com. For the first time, Facebook has published a detailed 27 pages guidelines outlining on what does and doesn't belong on its service. Facebook has made some high-profile mistakes over the years and the updated community standards will mirror the rules its 7600 moderators used to review questionable posts then decide if they should be pulled off from Facebook. And reading through the guidelines gives you an idea of how difficult the jobs of Facebook moderators must be as they are the ones who have to go through the objectionable material and then decide as to what stays and what needs to be pulled off from the social network. Inspired by the Google for Jobs feature that debuted in the US last year, Google has launched a new search experience in India for people looking for a new job. The new experience is aimed to make job searches easier for internet users in the country and is available in English on the Google app for Android and iOS as well as in Google search on the desktop and mobile. In more Google news, Google CEO Sundar Pichai's award of 353,939 restricted Google shares which he had received in 2014 will vest and the payout amount is $380 million. That's reportedly one of the largest single payouts to a public company executive has received in recent years. The full-length Venom trailer is out and gives us a first proper look at Tom Hardy as Venom. And let us warn you that if you don't want the movie to be spoiled for you, then do not watch the new trailer. Like in the past, Sony had spoiled much of Spider-Man Homecoming with its trailers and it seems to have taken a similar route with Venom 2. Venom releases on October 5th in theatres worldwide. More details on what we think of the new Venom trailer on Gadgets360.com. So that's all on this edition of 360 Daily and for all things tech, log on to Gadgets360.com.